All right, I'm going to do um, page 153, number 98. Um, this one didn't work out today, so I thought I would show you how to do it. It's kind of complicated. You're supposed to find the values of B such that the function has a given maximum or minimum value. So this one is a function <laughs> and its maximum value. That dog is always a problem. Maximum value is a 48. So what you have to do, remember I gave you that formula that x equals the maximum value for x is negative b over 2a? Well, to find the maximum value we have to for b, we have to say um, x equals negative b, and the, the b is b, so it's just negative b over 2 times the negative 1, so just over negative 2. So your maximum x value is b over 2. Now to find the maximum value of the function, what's going to make the function the greatest, is we have to put this b over 2 in for our x's and set it equal to the maximum function value of 48. This is really a complicated problem. So we're going to have negative b over 2 squared plus, and then we're going to replace this, the x here with b over 2, we're replacing all the x's with the maximum value. So it's b times b over 2 minus 16. So we're going to get 48 equals negative b squared over 4 plus b squared over 2 minus 16. And see what all I've done is I found the max value and I put it in for the x's. So we need a common denominator, which would be 4, so I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by 2. And I'm going to add 16 to those sides and get 64 equals, and it's going to be b squared over 4 minus b squared over 4, so it's just going to be b squared over 4. Cross multiply, and we get 256 equals b squared. And if you take the square root of both sides, you get b equals plus or minus 16. And that is your answer for b that will give you the maximum value. So a little complicated. You can do the same thing for 100. You would just put, it would be, um, <coughs> instead of being positive, b over 2, your maximum would be over negative 2. And you put it in for all the x's, and you would set it equal to negative 50. And it should come out to be a perfect square right here, so that you can get your plus and minus values. Tough problem.